Thank you for joining me for the Registry Partners October 2023 CTR coding break to talk about lung procedures for malignant pleural effusion. First, I'd like to discuss palliative care definitions as described in our standard setter manuals. The World Health Organization describes palliative care as treatment that improves the quality of life by preventing or relieving suffering. The store manual also gives the descriptions that palliative care is provided to prolong the patient's life by managing patient symptoms, alleviating pain, or making the patient more comfortable. It's care that's provided to relieve symptoms that may include surgery, radiation therapy, systemic therapy, and or other pain management therapy. And it's care that can involve pain management that may not include surgery, radiation, or systemic therapy. The store manual has palliative care data item descriptions. Code one is surgery, code two is radiation, code three is chemo, hormone, or other systemic drugs. And they're all assigned with these codes in the palliative care data item to relieve, uh, alleviate symptoms. I included the higher codes here on this slide. Code four is when the patient received or was referred for pain management therapy with no other palliative care. Code five is any combination of one, two, and or three without code four. Code six is any combination of codes one, two, and or three with code four. And code seven is performed or referred, but no information on the type of procedure is available in the patient record or the palliative care was provided that does not fit the descriptions of the other codes. So let's talk about a pleurex procedure. A pleurex drain catheter is a, flin, a thin flexible tube that's placed in the chest to drain fluid from the pleural space. It contains a one-way valve that prevents air from entering and fluid from leaking out when capped. Our case scenario starts off at the reporting facility and they perform a left lung mass core biopsy. It shows a non-small cell with immunohistochemical staining pattern favoring primary pulmonary adenocarcinoma over squamous cell carcinoma. The medical oncologist note states stage four adenocarcinoma of the lung. Also at the reporting facility, the patient receives palliative pleurex drain placement for symptom management of persistent malignant pleural effusion. So let's think, is this procedure reportable? Yes, it's reportable per store palliative care coding instructions. It tells us do not code routine pain management following surgery or other treatment. Do code first course pain management for persistent pain. We would use code seven for this case scenario. Palliative care was provided that does not fit descriptions for codes one through six. Now, if the lung cancer was diagnosed elsewhere and the only care for the cancer provided at the reporting facility was the pleurex drain, the case would not be reportable at the reporting facility because the pleurex procedure does not affect class of case. Here is another pleurex procedure case scenario. We have an outside stage four adenocarcinoma of lung with malignant pleural effusion. The patient presents to the reporting facility and receives first course carboplatin and taxol in a palliative setting. The patient also receives palliative pleurex drain placement specifically for pain management of persistent malignant pleural effusion. Is this procedure reportable? Yes, it is reportable per palliative care coding instructions. And it would be coded and used as code six, any combination of codes one, two, and or three with code four due to the palliative chemotherapy and pain management. Sometimes in metastatic lung cases with pleurex catheter, we might wonder if it is supposed to be documented as a surgical diagnostic and staging procedure. 
the Stora Manual guides us to say that any positive cytologic or palliative surgical procedures are not documented in the surgical diagnostic and staging procedure data item. I also wanted to include the date of first course treatment data item here as well because it provides instruction that we document a date here when the patient might receive palliative care for pain management only. Let's talk about thoracentesis. A thoracentesis is when a needle is put through the chest wall into the pleural space to remove fluid or air from around the lungs. Our case scenario starts out with a patient with pleural effusion who undergoes cytologic thoracentesis. It comes back and the pleural fluid, the pleural fluid shows adenocarcinoma consistent with a primary lung neoplasm. It's later confirmed as stage four adenocarcinoma of the lung by the medical oncologist. And the patient receives pembrolizumab in a palliative setting. So how is this documented? Well, a diagnostic thoracentesis cytology is added as a workup cytology. When it's diagnostic, a small sample of pleural, of pleural fluid is removed and sent for analysis to help determine the type of fluid. So it is not treating the patient for symptoms. Here is another case scenario for thoracentesis. We have a stage four lung cancer patient with malignant pleural effusion that receives palliative radiation with concurrent palliative carboplatin and paclitaxel and a therapeutic thoracentesis. So a therapeutic thoracentesis is done to relieve the symptoms of the effusion. It's done in a palliative measure only. So how is this documented? We would add it as treatment for palliative radiation, chemo, and therapeutic thoracentesis. We can use a code six in the palliative care data item, any combination of codes one, two, and or three with code four. The therapeutic thoracentesis is used to remove a larger volume of pleural fluid to relieve the symptoms. But when it's used as the only palliative care procedure, it is assigned to code seven in the palliative care data item. So in summary, Palliative care reporting tracks care that helps prolong the patient's life by controlling symptoms to alleviate pain or to make the patient more comfortable. The Plurex drain catheter is a thin flexible tube that's placed in the chest to drain fluid from the pleural space. The Plurex catheter will not affect class of case, but may affect the palliative care data item. A thoracentesis is a needle that is put through the chest wall into the pleural space to remove fluid or air from around the lungs. Thoracentesis may be done diagnostically or to treat symptoms. And we document in the abstract when palliative care is performed for the cancer. If any of the procedures we discussed were performed for non-malignant pleural effusion, then we would not include it into our abstract. This concludes the CTR coding break. Thank you for joining. Please reach out if you have any questions.